Welcome back to the Mac Break Studio. I'm Mark, I'm with Steve, We're doing some Ripple training work in Final Cut Pro 10. And today, we're going to talk about masks. Masks. I love masks. I love masks too. Uh, masks were introduced in Final Cut 10.2. Yes. And they were kind of overshadowed by the 3D, you know, whiz bang yes. features, you know. So useful. All the stuff that, that I used to have to do in motion, much of it I can now do directly in Final Cut Pro That's 10. right. So we're going to yeah. look at one in particular, one mask in particular called a gradient mask. I find really useful in two situations. Okay. One, to do some color grading, and the other one, to actually use to animate titles on the screen. So, oh, really? Yeah. Okay. It's a lot of fun. All right. Two very different uses. Let's All right. see. So I am in Final Cut right now. And I have this clip that this is actually, you shot this as Vineyard. That's one of your oh, yeah, shots. Oh, yeah, that okay. long slider. Right. Now, I've already graded the clip. And by, just to see where it started, there's your flat version. Yes. Right? And there's my graded version. Yes. Okay. Now, I have the scopes open for a reason. You can see that I have the dynamic range completely stretched from zero all the yeah. way to 100%. Yeah. I wanna... and, I, and I blew out that shot. That guy is just, just blowing It is. Out. And, and yeah. that's a fully acceptable. You know, yeah. there's what's, what detail you're going to see in the sun. So yeah. uh, it, it's fine. The thing is, is that it's right at 100. And in some instances, if you were to deliver that, deliver that to certain networks, yeah. they would reject it. Like some are really stringent, like PBS. You would never be able to deliver 100%. All the way to 100. No, okay. you just wouldn't. Now, you would think, well, why don't you just go into the color board and just reduce the exposure in the whites? Here's why. Because when you affect the whites, you're actually affecting the midtones yeah, as well. you can see everything well. moving. That's right. The waveform. Yeah. Right, because you think... Okay, I'm only affecting whites. No, it's whites are from about 100 to 75, uh -huh. right? And then mids are like 75 to 25, and then yeah, and the blacks those, are like 50 to zero. So they overlap. They, they overlap. They overlap. Yeah. Yep. So this is where a gradient mask comes in because I can determine what areas I want to bring down without affecting the rest okay. of the frame. And it works differently than you can see in like the broadcast save effect, which would just clamp. It would just, it would, yeah, it's just yeah. like just hard. Clip. Clamp I, I, yeah. I'm not a fan of the Brad broadcast safe filter, except okay. in a dire emergency. Like you got to get you got to get it out. Because this gives you more fine tuned control. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a gradient mask. This gra actually is called a graduated mask. Okay. okay. I'm going to go ahead and and put that on there. It's much like a grad filter that you would put on your camera, right? Yeah. I exactly. In fact, this is a grad, meaning that it's it's only like half a frame or a quarter frame or Right. Third frame, you you de you determine. In this case, I'm I'm adjusting what's called the target point of, of where that grad happens, okay, where the line happens, and then this controls the center point. So I'm gonna just kind of move this into place, like like about right about there. I call this like adding a grad neutral density filter. I'm gonna right. I want to bring down the number of stops. I want to bring the exposure down by maybe one or two stops, but not on the whole frame. But not on the just whole frame. On the sky basically. Exactly. Okay. So. I've got a little bit too much of the amount going on yeah, here. So I'm going to just bring this back up. Now, see, if you look at the waveform, I'm back at 100% yes. with the amount slider completely. But when you drag that slider, only, oh. the, only the top is moving. That's right. The whole bottom of the waveform, there's not... a tiny bit of movement happening, but yeah, very, 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 very little. Yeah, very, little. Very, very little. Yeah, I'm, I'm it really... targets it much more specifically. Right. I could literally bring this to whatever spec that I want to, like mm -hmm. you know, 90% something on the waveform, just, just enough to comply with whatever... Without, network standards. Without affecting the midtones and the shadows without, and the rest of the shot. Exactly. Nice. So I for that reason alone, I really, really like, yeah. you know, using a graduated mask. Okay, so that's, there's my there's my first example. Okay. Love so it. my second example is I like to use it to reveal titles. It's really fun. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this graduated mask on here. And what I like about it is you can do some nice reveals using the center point. You see, notice oh, as yeah. I'm doing this, it's it's creating this it's nice reveal. So, uh -huh. so, so I might I might start You're gonna animate it. Yes, okay. so I'm going to move <laughs> exactly. Okay. So I'm, I'm I'm actually moving the center, excuse me, the target point here. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to set a keyframe for that point, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to move the playhead like over here. And since the key, first keyframe is set, I don't need to set the second one. Just drag on that on-screen control. Drag on that on-screen control. Bring that down like this. And you can see now, when I play this back, it's just nice. this really nice little... How fast and easy is that? And it's beautiful. I, I love that. I mean, it's, it's better than just doing a fade up or a fade down. I love down. that. Yeah. So That's great. Two useful ways of using a graduated... And very mask. different things, too. That's great. Yeah. I like that. All right. Well, there you Not have bad. it. Not bad. Not bad. All right, you guys. Hope you like that one, too.
rippletraining.com for a full training on Phonica Pro, Motion, DaVinci Resolve. And we'll see you again here next week on MacBreak Studio.